Good evening and welcome to Ms. Gwenny Eats. Thank you for tuning in another Sunday. I appreciate you all tuning in with me another Sunday. I'm still waiting to see how my Friday food video does. So far it's a little lack lackluster. So I don't know if I'm going to do another one of those. So I figured for now I'll stick to my Sunday videos until we figure that out. And this Sunday, I decided to go a little down home with it because everyone, um, well, not everyone, but I've had a few people tell me that some of my meals feel a little fancy. So this week, I did some turkey wings. I have collard seasoned with turkey tail. I'm not sure who I saw on my Facebook page that had cooked something with turkey tail, but thank you because I like that idea and I went with it. We have some pinto beans, rice. And our wine this week is Chateau St. Michelle Riesling. Let's go. Okay. Now, let me start. So, I was in the grocery store, and I was actually looking for turkey necks. Well, not the grocery store, the meat market. Town and country. And I was looking for turkey necks, but they did not have any. Like, I mean, yeah, no turkey necks. They didn't have any turkey wings either, so I wound up getting my... um. Turkey wings from Walmart, Butterball. You can't go wrong with Butterball. Hmm. That's good. <laughs> I had to laugh. Because my niece sent me a picture, a video of my nephew watching my videos. And he said, that's good. <laughs> but y'all know, every once in a while, I cook something that I don't like. I doubt it with this meal. Now, usually, when I make um, beans and greens, I use some kind of smoked, like a neck bone or pork, usually. Or sometimes I use um, country ham. It just depends. But for the most part, I use pork. But I have to say that this turkey has not failed me. And it's been a while since I um, season anything with turkey. I just use pork for everything. But I guess now I'm going to try to evolve open to doing stuff a little healthier. No, I am not going to stop eating pork. I eat pork. From the rooter to the tutor. Yep, that'd be me. Thanksgiving, I might eat some chitlins for y'all. We'll have to see how that goes. That depends on if my chick my chitlin connect um, could come through again this year. If that turns anybody off, well, I don't know what to tell you. You don't have to eat it. I eat it. Hmm. Now, I put these in the crock pot last night, and I wasn't expecting them to still have this crunch. They still have a little crunch to them. And the turkey tail season is really good. Now, I'll be honest with y'all and say this. I do not buy just fresh collard greens. I always buy the ones that are already shredded in the bag. It's just so much rinsing and cleaning them. Y'all don't judge me. I cook them homemade. I put them in a crock pot. I might steam them on, in the, in the, on top of the stove, but I'm not doing all that cutting. That is where I draw the line. Cutting. And um, I want to give an honorable mention to my sister Jasmine and my best friend Aurelia on the turkey wing thing. Now, I didn't used to eat turkey wings much at all, and my sister, Jasmine, makes turkey wings, and I'm talking about good old country girl turkey wings with the mixed up gravy on the top. I mean, oh my God, it is so good. And because of her, I started trying, you know, started attempting to cook turkey wings on my own too. And um, I always like my turkey wings and then my own turkey wings the way I made them, not like my sister made them because I just, I'm, I suck at making gravy. But I did it the way my, I tried it. I went to my best friend's house and she had made some. And the flavor on them was so good. And I'm like, how did you? Because mine, I could get mine to have the little crispy part, but it didn't taste the same. So she told me what she seasoned them with. And y'all don't be mad at me, but I can't tell y'all what she seasoned hers with because that's, that's hers. But I use it and it is good. So I can't wait to dive into this turkey wing. And I just got plain white rice. And, you know, when I was little, my dad used to just make rice sometimes, like rice, green beans, spinach, whatever. And I just eat plain white rice with some butter. Mm. 
So I like white rice. I thought I had put some meat in here. Man, I only got a little bit of the turkey tail in this one, in the, in the greens. It's a lot in that pot, so I don't know how I wound up getting a scoop that had no meat in it. Still good, though. And I put a little dash of cayenne in here. Uh, not cayenne, um, red pepper flakes, just a little bit. You can't really see them. It didn't really give it a color, but it gave it a flavor, just a little pop on the end. And I cook them in some apple cider vinegar, too. Just not too much, but, you know, a decent amount so you can taste it so you don't have to add vinegar unless you just want to. Hmm. Now, let me tell y'all about my cheesecake this week. So, this week, my cheesecake, I, um, yes, I'm putting it in the beans. I'm putting it in the beans, right? See, I was supposed to have cabbage with this, but I completely forgot about cabbage because I wanted to do collard greens. Because my cabbage, I'm putting pork in my cabbage. That's why I did collard greens. Anyway, but, oh, let me take this bite. Hmm. Look at that piece of meat I, I put in there. Got just a little bit of fat on it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, back to my cheesecake. So, a while back, I made a sweet potato cheesecake, right? And I call myself doing it the fancy way and putting marshmallows on the top and kind of like torching the marshmallow. Man, when I tell you I should have used marshmallow fluff instead of like just whole mini marshmallows. When I say a disaster area, a disaster area. The cake was good. The cheesecake was good, but we scraped the marshmallow off and ate the cheesecake part. Because it just was it looked like it was just a burnt up mess. It was awful. Like I said, it tasted good. But that part was just like, man. So, today, I said, you know what I'll do? I'll do a deep crust. Now, usually I have pretty good results with my deep crust. I do it for my blueberry lemonade. I do the deep crust for my, I have a strawberry, a strawberry that I do a deep crust with. And so I said, I'll do a deep crust with this one. Let me tell you. You see my face? That crust fell to pieces. When I say to pieces, I mean the crust fell to pieces. As soon as I pulled the spring foam pan off, it was just like, Err. it cracked, it bent out. So when I cut it, I had to try to cut one piece that didn't fall so bad. And Lord, it... I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good, but when I tell you it's ugly, mm, it's ugly. Oh, excuse me. And I'm pretty sure I said before that I don't like Chateau St. Michel Chardonnay, but I'm a fan of Riesling, so hopefully I'm pretty sure I like their Riesling. Got a piece of cork in it, but y'all know me. I'm a savage. If it was a little gnat, it was going to get drunk. Now... I bought this new corkscrew, the kind that they, now mind you, I forgot all about this corkscrew. I was online late night shopping when I shouldn't have been shopping. And I saw that corkscrew that you push down, you like kind of pump it and then the cork pops out and it was on sale that night for $9.99 or however much it was. It wasn't, it was no more than $20. So I got a little extra money, let me buy it. So just so happened I got my headlights. Oh, there's some headlights on my car. I got my headlights. I got the deep fryer Saturday. Went to the mailbox. Never check my mail. Anyway, go to the mailbox. It's full of boulder crap. My strawberry shortcake t-shirt. And another box. I'm like, what the heck is that box? That should tell y'all how much I just sit up ordering stuff. Ooh. Anyway, so I opened it and it was that corkscrew. And then the Chateau... St. Michelle wine needed a regular cork. It has a regular cork, it's not a twist off. And when I tell you that thing pops off, I mean, you pump it maybe about seven times on that seventh pump, it's like, like it literally like blew up. And um, I, um, I like it, it's convenient. It's convenient, it's easy. Now I have an electric corkscrew but it's, it's old now, and it has some a little sentimental value, so I'm not going to throw it away. 
but it's old now and it just does not do the job anymore. I could squeeze that button and it's just like, mm, poor thing. I was gonna say something, but I think it might be a little tasty, so I'll leave it alone. I'll say that to my friends in private, but I was gonna tell you about the cook school. But anyway, so back to these greens. I am so surprised these things still got a crunch on them. Not that I expected them to be a soggy mess, but I had a couple of intervals where I had to turn the pot on, turn it back off. All right, so now I may not speak to anyone else, but when I tell you, I love this little part of the wing, even chicken wings. I saw a post one time and it said something like, the next time somebody that doesn't bring um, anything to the cookout comes, I'm going to have them a plate of these. And all I could think was, shoot, I'll take a plate of those in a heartbeat. Do you hear me? Even mm, just a fried chicken while you're sitting there and you might be waiting for everything else to get done with the chicken. And then you just take that little wing tip off and it's fried crispy and you just chew on it. Mm. That's why I prefer whole wings over wingettes, but I like both. I eat both. When I tell you, I appreciate it when friends give me their recipes. My mom gave me her oxtail recipe some years ago, right? And um, she doesn't really use it anymore because she makes her stuff like a Spanish-style oxtail soup now with um, tomato sauce. And I can't say I prefer it that way. I like her original way. So that's how I make them. Uh, everybody I know. After they tasted my mom's oxtails, make their oxtails like that. I mean, everybody. So, I have a follower that loves Jamaican oxtails. So, one day, I'm going to cook them. And I'm going to take him some and see if he likes them. But, that's a recipe somebody gave me that I wouldn't give out. That was, excuse me, it's a piece of meat in my teeth. <laughs> you know, let me tell y'all, before I take these videos for my thumbnail, I do like a little short video so I can take different, make different faces and decide which one I like the most. And um, just so I can have a nice thumbnail, you can see what I'm eating, you can see me, you can see my strawberry shortcake t-shirt. And, um... I like it. And, um, but the thing is, before you get to put the thumbnail up, like when I upload my video, I haven't figured out how to upload the thumbnail, then the video or whatever. All you see is some weird face that I'm making in a video like <laughs> every single time until I put that thumbnail up, it's some weird space. Like it, the still that you see might be me with the greens hanging out my mouth. That piece of meat. Mmm. It's still in my tongue. Mmm. How did I get that? Oh. There you go. Got it out. It's going to drive me crazy. Well, you see how that just pulled apart? None of that little sticky thing where it just kind of look gooey when it come apart. Mmm. -mm. And all. And you just, at the end of it, you season it how you're going to season it. Right in them last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Take the foil off. Mm, we ain't gonna eat that part. Take the foil off and let it get crispy. Mm. And that really, really puts that seasoning down in there. But you can't do it <laughs> for too long because it'll dry the turkey out. Well, this is pretty good. The skin has a nice crust on it. Ooh, oh, look at that, y'all. That's juicy. That is juicy. It just fell off. <sighs> now, I know if I cook them, I, my sister is going to have to give me some insight on that gravy because I can only make good gravy with stew beef. That's it. Let me try a hamburger steak. It'll be a whole dumpling in the pan with hamburger steak in the middle. It's awful. Mm -hmm. I'm 
let me tell you how eventful my Sunday was. So I was babysitting this weekend. And the babies, as always, they tear my room up. I got a bunch of pillows on my bed. So I throw all the pillows in a corner and I have a shade in a, on the wall beside in between my windows. And they go from my bed to the shades to the pillow and blah, 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 they just make a whole total mess. So I actually wake up in the morning and I make them whatever they, it is they want to eat. In the last couple of weeks, it's been pancakes. So I made them homemade pancakes, like literally bacon powder, bacon soda, salt, sugar, buttermilk, um, eggs. Like I really um, made them pancakes. And I got that recipe from Aurelia too. But I think she uses hers mainly for waffles, but you can use it for either or. And the babies like waffles, so I mean like pancakes, so we did pancakes. So I'm cooking up this and I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and get this done. And it dawned on me. Those, a three-year-old and four-year-old was not about to eat these turkey wings with greens and pinto beans. So I had to fry up a couple of pork chops for my son to the little one because he picky. The big one to come in here and he'll eat this and he'll smash it to the ground. But I went ahead and I made some pork chops and just some Velveeta shells and cheese. And I cut it up and I wasn't sure if they knew what it was. So I'm sitting here and AJ said, thank you, Grandma. You made us macaroni macaroni and cheese. And, and his little face did like this. And he looked at it and he said, pork chops. I was like, high five, young man. Gave him a little high five because he knew what it was. He knew it was pork chops. I mean, because I think pork chops go with macaroni and cheese. I remember years ago, um, yeah, my my train of thought, chain, however you say it, it's all over the place. Oh, excuse me. Woo. But I remember some years ago, my friend, um, Nakia and I, I had spent the night at her house, right? And um, we were making pork chops. Now, I was used to little thin pork chops. She made one of them big heart, two of those big hearty pork chops and accidentally dropped her pork chop in the sink. We were so mad because we had to share the pork chop. But when I tell you that was one of those, the best pork chops I ever had, Nakia Anderson. Yep, one of the best pork chops I ever had. I wish we could have had one each, but <laughs> that one fell in the sink. It was so funny. It wasn't funny then, but it's funny now. Hmm. See, when I cook stuff like this, I try not to smack, but this kind of stuff is just so good. You know, I wondered about doing a Thanksgiving edition, but for what? Everybody going to have the same thing. The same thing. So, I'm not doing a Thanksgiving edition. Like you got crunch. Mm-hmm. I done went elbows on the table with this. Mm-hmm. Pour me a little more of this Riesling. You know something? It's been a while since I just had some Riesling. Lately, when I drink wine or something red, it's duping, it's muscadine. I was needing this. Like, really. But, I could say I had two really good new wine choices back to back. Because that Snoop Dogg, that 19 Crimes Cali Red, that was some good red wine. It was dry, like red wine should be. But it had like a sweetness right on the back of it. Mm, that was good. And reason is just reason. It's just slightly sweet. It's like, it's like dead smack in the middle of dry and sweet. So... People that like a dry wine like it. People like a sweet wine like it because it's not too intrusive on either side. And this one is actually pretty doggone good. Back to these beans, though. Mm. With this big old piece of meat in there. Mm. Now, when I do these videos, I always do them in selfie mode. Because I like to look at myself while I'm doing these videos. I know what kind of ugly, weird faces I'm making. I know if I'm slouching. I know if um, strawberry shortcake went below my plate line. I know if I dropped something. If something's in my teeth, I could just see all of that. So, I try to do it that way. And this is actually my first time using my um, tripod. And I'll be honest and say I like it. It took a lot for me to figure out how to get the whole picture in the frame, the whole plate and my hair up. 
It took about 30 minutes trying to figure that out. Now, I always try, when I do the bit, I've done a total without, when people only saw one of them, I've done a total of three videos where I um, stand in front of the stove and cook. And two of them, I just, two I just wasn't satisfied with. And the one I did on Friday, it got cut off and, you know, it just threw me off. I was like, never mind. But I am liking the tripod. I don't have the ring light on. Yes, my forehead is shiny. I think I'm going to take my friend's advice, my friend Alicia's advice, and get me just like a little powder brush and get this shine off my forehead. Because, good God, I want my lips shiny, but not my forehead looking like a beacon of light. And that's how it looks in all my videos. Like a beacon of light. Now, when I did my friends, with how she seasons hers, I just add a little cayenne pepper powder. And that gives a little kick too. So I put the red pepper flakes in there and, and some on here. So a couple of items on this plate have a little spice to it. So it's pretty good. Hmm. And I'm about to finish what's in my mouth. And clean off my fork. <laughs> this cheesecake is just over here in the corner melting. It's melting. It's melting. My poor little cheesecake. It's probably going to taste good. But it's melting. I want to keep going on these beans. Mmm. This really turned out good, as hectic as my weekend, my day was. It turned out so well. Wow. And this was pretty inexpensive to make, too. I did, like, a three-pack of turkey wings. Those were, like, less than $6. Um, the bag of greens were, like, $4. I think the meat, I found the meat market might have been $3. The beans were, like, $1.87 because I bought them fresh in the store. And rice, it, I hope all y'all just keep rice in the house. So pretty much, I believe this was under $20 for the meat that went in the greens, the greens, the beans, and the turkey wings. Oh, excuse me, so about six, four, I made that 10. And yeah, that's about, about 20, under $20. So if you had a family of two or three, it's a good meal. And one? Make this last for a couple days. And I love the flat part of the wing. And I kind of neglected it a little bit. Yeah, I know I cleaned off my fork. But I got to give the flat part of the wing some love, too. Okay. I'm going to wipe this off again. Move this flake to the side for now. Hmm. I don't even want to put it in the shot. It's, it, it's melting. Mm, look at that. See the crust? It's just, man. But I'll post a picture of it before it started to like kind of wilt. And this tastes more, it, it looks like it's more of the consistency of pie. Seriously. I think next time I might need to put a little less sweet potato in it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I think I'm just name dropping everybody tonight. Cause my my uh, one of my other besties and her grandma when I told her that my cheesecake was ugly, they were like, "That's the best kind." Uh huh. Ooh, I think I went hot picked on that. Mmm. Then I put a like a cinnamon sugar drizzle on it. Oh my god. This. Mmm. Ooh. And the crust that broke apart. Cinnamon graham cracker. Mm. So please know if I post a, when I post a picture of it, if you want to try sweet potato cheesecake and you like how it looks, I'm not doing a deep crust, baby. It's just going to have a regular crust about that thick. Because, mm-mm. I, I don't want you to 
I don't want to have to make two cheesecakes. One for us to have at home and one for you because the crust fell apart. So, mm -mm. But the actual cheesecake, God told my mm -mm. Oh yeah, that's that's something good. I could sell this with confidence. And don't forget, Thanksgiving is coming up. Thanksgiving is coming up. I take that week off and I bake cheesecakes from that Friday night to Wednesday night. Now, you got to be real special for me to deliver a cheesecake on Thanksgiving. I'm going to do it early. I'm going to get back home. But for the most part, you know, I have certain people that I'll do it for. But please don't ask me to do that. You know, if it's not a, a actual last minute emergency type, you drop your other dessert on the ground thing. Because I cook for Thanksgiving, too. Even though my son told me he doesn't really like it because he don't like that it's all so much food and I try to make him eat it all. <laughs> but, and this tastes more like sweet potato than cheesecake. You can definitely taste the cheesecake. You know, it has that flavor to it. But, hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, I done scrape the, scrape the plate a little bit. Good God. <laughs> okay, I feel like a greedy. Mm. Of all the cheesecakes I've made, I have to say that this one right here is one of the creamiest ones ever. So I'm going to have to figure out how to balance the sweet potato flavor with the creaminess and still give it a consistency because it kind of fell apart. And I know it was in the refrigerator long enough to set, but it just kind of fell apart. But it's, it's good. Oh, excuse me. I can't say I don't think it's good because it, 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 it is like I'm in here making love faces and stuff. Hmm. If, you are, if you're ordering for Thanksgiving, you might want to try this one right here. Because it's, it's cheese. It's, it's not a lot. Not very cheesecakey. It's sweet potato. It's, it's good. First time I ever had it, though, a friend of mine made. I said her name 15 million times in this video. Not 15 million. But um, my friend made it, and she did a pecan crust. That was a honey. That's what made me want to try this. Because my friend made a nice... Um, Sweet potato cheesecake one Thanksgiving. It was super duper yummy. And that made me want to replicate it, you know. Um, what do they call it? Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And I definitely wanted to recreate a sweet potato because of how much I like hers. Hers was, hers was better than mine. You have no problem saying that. That crust was something special. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and conclude my video. I think this is one of the longest ones. I went into four different conversations. I enjoy everything. The wings, the wine, the beans, the rice, the, just everything. Good. Yeah, the wing, the wine, the beans, the greens, the potatoes, tomatoes. You know how that song goes anyway. Okay. As always, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you all giving me your time this evening. Um like share and subscribe <laughs>